Gracias por seguir con nosotros. Continuamos compartiendo Campo de Precisión. Estuvimos en una charla a Campo de Precision Planting en la que se presentaban las diferentes tecnologías para optimizar la siembra que ofrece la empresa y en donde nos entrevistamos con su gerente de negocios en el país. Con él conversamos sobre las diferentes variables que buscan controlar con sus tecnologías, como el adecuado distanciamiento de semillas, la homogeneidad en su profundidad y el correcto cierre del surco, además de los impactos económicos de las mismas. I'm Matt Morgan and I'm the business manager for Precision Planting here in Argentina. And I've been working in Argentina. This is now my fourth planting season, actually. I came first just for a few weeks during the planting season. Then my family and I spent an entire planting season in 2019. My family and I, we came here two years ago to, to really try and reach more and more farmers with the mission of precision planting. And What I think is the best way to, to talk about what we do is help farmers position every seed for success. And that really starts at the beginning. If you think about running a race, I ran a marathon a number of years ago, and the beginning really sets the stage for how you finish. And it's the same with planting, it's the same with agriculture. You want to start on day one and put that seed in the perfect position to achieve its full potential. And at Precision Planting, we love to come alongside farmers. And that's really how I started. I came here in, in Argentina looking to develop ways we could learn and see the problems that were robbing the potential of each seed and then find solutions, ways that we could solve those problems and allow farmers to achieve more productivity with the same fields, the same crops. So that's really the, the heart and the mission of Precision Planting. And what you see today is really the fruit of that that mission. We've gone around the country now for the last two years and we've been doing learning plots to see what is the impact of population, what is the impact of downforce management, what is the impact of how you put the soil around that seed or soil density around the top of that seed. What impact does that make on the performance and productivity that that seed can produce in every field that you plant? Today is the first of our series this year where we take what we've learned in these plots. Here we have soybeans and corn and we're sharing the results. How did those different variables on the day of planting play out in the life and the health of these crops that we're seeing here behind us today? So this series, it's a, a way for farmers to engage, to learn with us what are the real profit robbing problems that they're seeing on the farm and how can we find solutions to get better. So, uh, as you may not be aware, the, the business here has continued to grow. And, and really, I, I think it starts with that focus on the farmer. And what we see is, as we've identified solutions, for example, with seed metering and being able to place those seeds coming off the meter, uh, measure them coming to the ground, uh, we're seeing huge adoption of the technology. So that uh, 70% of new planters today are using precision planting technology. And, and we're seeing the impact that that's making as farmers grow better crops. The same is true with our downforce management systems and closing systems. We're really providing technology solutions that take an older machine and allow it to perform better than a new machine. So you might ask, what is the, the most central core contribution that we've made to improving farming in Argentina? And when you think about the perfect stand, whether it's corn or wheat or, or soybeans, we, we talk about a picket fence. You want consistent plant positioning. And perhaps the biggest impact we've had is with the metering technology, which is both the V-set meter, but the V-drive motor with it so that you can place each and every one of those seeds like a picket fence in perfect position, perfect alignment, and now the crop health, they aren't competing because they're too close together and the crops are able to grow and thrive and produce the healthiest year possible. Now it's interesting once you solve that problem, you start to position 
those plants, now you start to see the difference in size of those plants. And so what we're seeing now is that the emergence and the consistency of those plants coming out of the ground, maybe in the first seven days of planting, is the next great challenge to overcome. Because imagine if you're just one, two, or three days behind coming out of the ground, you'll lose almost 25% yield per day for every day late you come out of the ground. That's a huge impact. And if that's happening maybe 30% of the time in your field, there's a huge opportunity. So we see that the seeding technology has really been what has started the growth of our business, but we see the ability to control the environment of the seed with good downforce and good soil contact as the next frontier to bring even more productivity. What about the future of precision planting? Well, as you can see today, this, this is our future. The farm is our future. And what we're seeing is that every time we step in to solve a problem on the farm, we find four more. And so for us, the, the future is about bringing and introducing those solutions in a way that is appropriate to how farming is done here in Argentina. So as I look out into the future, there's still a lot of work to do with the planter. There's things that we need to do with residue and the, the use of non-tillage planting here that's so uh, predominant. It's, it's common here to plant with old crop on the ground. So once we can get the planter in a great place, now there's many other things. There's sprayers, there's combines, there's many aspects to farm management. And we want to continue to expand our distribution network. Today is a great example. We have uh, a number of our premier dealers here today working with the customers and they're really the ones that bring these solutions to life for the customer and so we want to continue to expand the number of them but also their ability to service and bring these solutions to farmers all across Argentina. Esto ha sido todo por hoy. Para comunicarse con nosotros o rever los programas emitidos, los invitamos a ingresar a nuestra página web campodeprecisiontv.com.ar Les damos las gracias por habernos acompañado y les proponemos encontrarnos en una semana más para compartir una nueva emisión de Campo de Precisión. Campo de Precisión